Okay, so it's asking us to find the surface area and the volume of the right triangular prism. So this is a right triangular prism. It's asking us to find the area of the two bases together. What's it talking about? Well, let's, let's do this. Let's go to the notes really quickly. Let me grab for you. There we are. This is the exam. This is from the exam three notes. So the exam number three notes, it gives us the information about prisms and it tells us how to find the volume of a prism. It's base times height. So here's a triangular prism, which is exactly what ours is. Um, ours is a triangular prism. Ours, right, says right there, right triangular prism, but ours is just laying on its side. See how the two triangles are sideways? <clears throat> so they've just taken our prism and they've laid it on its side, but it's still a triangular prism. See how this one's standing up? Triangular prism, same thing. So, um, and, and it's, a, it's a prism because of what there's two of. There's two triangles and then straight sides in between. That's what a prism always means. There's two of something and you call those the base, right? The area of the triangle base, times the height, the height by the volume. We'll do the volume at the end. But see how like, for example, this one's a pentagonal prism, why? Because there's two pentagons, top and bottom. This one's a hexagonal prism, why? Because there's two hexagons, top and bottom. So a prism always has two of something and those things that it has two of are called the bases. Well, ours triangular prism has two triangles and the first question, they want us to find the area of the two bases together. What does it mean, two bases? It means the two triangles. Are you tracking with me? It means this triangle right here and this triangle right here. Those two together. Those are the triangle. bases right there and right there. So that's what it means. When it says the area of the two bases, it means the two triangles. Triangle. Why are those the bases? Because that's what there's two of. So again, so, so in other words, I'm trying to help you right now. You might think, well, base always means bottom, not necessarily. This prism has been laid down. So for a prism, the base is what there's two of. What are there two of? Two triangles. You might say, well, there's two rectangles there. There actually are not two rectangles. There's one rectangle on the front, one rectangle at the back, and one rectangle on the ground. There's three rectangles, actually, right? This shape has five sides, three rectangles on the sides, front, back, and bottom, and two triangles, right and left. So what there's two of in a prism, what there's two of, in this case, two triangles, is how you name it, and those are the bases. This is called a triangular prism because there's two triangles, and those are the bases. So when they find the area of the two bases together, they mean the two triangle bases together. Okay, so we have to find the area. So how do we do that? Well, let me bring it up here. So the area of the two triangles, that's going to be two times, you know the area of a triangle formula, a half base times height, right? So it's two, because there's two triangles, times a half base times height. Okay, well, what's the base and the height? Well, remember base and height have to be at 90 degrees. Could I make like um, 16 the base and 19 the height? You know, for this, I'm trying to find the area of this triangle base right here. Could I make, you know, 16 the base and 19 the height? No, that 19 does not come down at 90 degrees, does it? So what do we have to do? We have to bring down a line straight to the middle at 90 degrees, don't we? And so that breaks it into eight and eight. And then this is the height H right there. We've had to do that before. Right, the height has to be, get rid of this side. The height has to be at 90 degrees to the base, doesn't it? So to find, so now we have to find that height using the Pythagorean theorem, right? This is like A, B is eight, C is 19. 
we got to define the height first. Find the height, right? How do we find that? A squared plus B squared is C squared. So that's going to be H squared plus eight squared is 19 squared. At least those are my numbers. And so that's eight squared, 64, 19 squared is 361. Like that, <clears throat> subtract 64, boom, boom. Eight squared is whatever, subtract that on the calculator here, 297, <coughs> excuse me, and then square root it. So let's do that, square root it, square root it. And so H equals, I'm getting uh, now 17.2337. Now I'm gonna use four decimal places, why? You think they only want two in the end, but two, right. Remember, you have to use more decimals in the middle of the problem than they want in the end. If they want two in the end, you better use four in the middle of the problem. That way you'll make the end accurate. So you've got to use a couple more in the middle than they want in the end. If they want two decimals in the end, I'm going to use four here in the middle of the problem. So I get the height. So now I can finish getting this area. So the area right here, formula, two times a half. What's the base? Well, the base is the uh, 16 right there. So the base is 16, the height is uh, what we just found there, it's the 17.2337. There we go, now you might, I know I know this can be confusing. Some people say, well, wait a minute, so why, why is the base, the whole 16, isn't it the eight? No, no, we, the eight was just half of the base, which we used to find the right triangle, right? You with me on that? Is that making sense? This This little right triangle right here, We use that to find, you know, the A, B, and C to find the height. But that wasn't the whole base, was it? The whole base is the 16. When we go to finding the area of the two triangles, it's going to be 2 times a half base times height. The whole base is 16. The height is 17. So it's 17.2337 for me anyway. Multiply those all together, and you get some answer, whatever that may be. I'm getting what I get. So if you're not, they want me to round to two places now. So I'll go seven, four. So there we go. So that goes in that first blank. Remember, you can put in one answer at a time, and you would be wise to do so. It allows you three guesses for every blank. So go ahead and put in that first answer for the first blank and then submit. Make sure that's right before you go on. Just do one blank at a time. Make sure it's right before you go on. Okay, so that's the first blank. First answer, the two triangles together. So we just, we got this triangle in the front, got this triangle in the back. Now, in the next part, they want us to find the lateral surface. What, what's that? That means the other sides, other than the, other than the bases. So it means the three rectangular sides. The three rectangular sides. You know what I'm talking about there? So we have uh, this rectangle on the front right here. See this rectangle on the front? Let me just write that out. So I'll go front. So the front rectangle, well, that's just 29 times 19. Huh? Plus, and then we have the rectangle on the back, which is identical. Right, the one, let me see if I can be clear, the one that's back there. See that one back there? That's the same as the one on the front, 29 by 19, right? So we have the front, we got the back, and then we have the bottom. See it down there in the bottom? 
one that's on the ground, and that's just 29 by 16, isn't it? One down here on the rim. All right, that's it. Just to add those up. That's that's easier than the other part was. I'm getting 551, 551, 4, 4, 4. I'm going to just add that up. So that's the lateral surface area. I got a total of 1566. Okay, and then make, and put that answer in and submit. Remember, you can put in one blank at a time and submit. That'd be the best way, the easiest way. Make sure you're right before you go on because now, <clears throat> in part three here, they want me to find the total surface area. And that's just going to be these two answers added up, isn't it? Because the total surface area is the, the two triangles and then the three rectangles all put together. So just add that up. So take your 275 or what you know, whatever your two answers are and add those up. So mine is this right here. So just add those two answers up on your calculator. And I'm getting 1841.74. So just add those two up, total surface area, the two triangles and the three rectangles. And now, final question, number four. Now they want volume. That's totally a different animal, right? Volume means filling it up, not, not just the surfaces. Everybody seeing the difference? That's why, that's why I give you these problems to, to help you get ready for the exam because it's a mix of volume and surface area. So volume is filling up the shape. That's what we're doing right now. If you want to fill it up with water or something, right? Some triangular prism aquarium or something, you know? Versus surface area, that's if you wanted to paint the outside, all the surfaces. So we just found all the surface area, which is like going to paint all five sides. That's how much paint you would need, how much surface area there is. Now we want volume, like filling up the inside with water or something. How do you find the volume of a right triangular prism? Well, go to our notes, volume of a prism right here. You got it. And this is, in fact, a triangular prism, which is exactly what we have. Ours is just laying on its side instead of standing up. Same formula, though. What is that? Area of the triangular base times the height. So, okay. So the volume, then. So it's the area of a triangular base times the height. Now, height of the prism. Now, this is where it gets confusing. We start using base and height in two different ways. And it's very confusing for people a lot of times. So I'm glad to help with that. Try to track that real clearly. So the area of the triangular base, first off, what do we do that? Well, that's the area of a triangle. You know the area of a triangle is a half times base times height, right? And uh, what do we mean now? When we say base and height, we mean the base of the triangle. So there's two kinds of bases and there's two kinds of heights going on. And you got to keep those straight. That could be very confusing. Let me show you. Here's the base of just the triangle, 16. But that whole triangle is called the base of the prism. You see? There's two kinds of bases. There's the base of the triangle, which is 16. And then the whole triangle is the base of the prism. So when we say the area of the triangle base, we mean the whole triangle. And to do that, you need a half base times height. So the base of the triangle, just the triangle, is 16. Okay, but now what's the height? Well, here we mean the height of the triangle. What's the height of the triangle? Well, that's that number we calculated from the a squared, b squared, c squared. That's the 17, this mine was. 17.2337. You all see that? That's the height of just the triangle, which is right here. The height of just the triangle. That's different than out here now. We're going to talk about times the height of the whole prism. What's the height of the whole prism? That's the 29. You see that? That's the height of the whole prism, which is different than the height of just the triangle. Well, how do you know that's height of the prism? Because that goes between the two triangles. Let me go back and show you. See on the diagram, the notes, 
See how the height right here goes between the two triangles? That's the height of the prism. Goes between the two, because the triangles are the bases. Ours is a little more confusing because they laid our triangular prism down. So the height actually goes along the ground, but it's still the length between the two bases, the two triangles. So again, the height of the prism is right here. It's the length between the two triangles. It's laying down on the ground in this case, but it's the length between the two triangles, the two bases. That's the height of the prism. That's different than the height of the triangle, which was the calculated a squared, b squared, c squared number that I got 17.2337 for. See that difference? Height of the triangle, height of the whole prism, which is the length between the two bases, between the two triangles. Got to keep all those straight. We have two different kinds of bases. Base of a triangle, base of a whole shape, whole prism, and height of just a triangle, and height of a whole prism. So keep all those straight. Hit the buttons on your calculator. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm getting 3998.2184. They want only two decimal places. So I'll round this to what? Two, two? Yeah, two, two rounds to two, two. That eight rounds it up. So there we go. There's the total volume of that shape. There we go.